Hi everyone. Um, in this video we're going to be talking about how to use Python to download stock price information as well as other financial data uh, from Yahoo Finance and we'll be doing that using a package called Yahoo Fin. You can learn more about Yahoo Fin by going to my blog at theautomatic.net and clicking on this link Yahoo Fin documentation at the uh, top of the, the page. And that will lead you to this documentation page that walks through the various features of Yahoo Fin um, as well as how to uh, install the package. And in this video we'll be giving an overview starting with installing the package and then we'll, we'll talk through how to import the package and go through some of the uh, key functions available in, in Yahoo Fin. Alright, so now let's talk about how to install Yahoo Fin. Well, before you install Yahoo Fin, I recommend having a distribution like Anaconda uh, installed because Anaconda comes with a lot of different packages uh, like NumPy, Pandas, Request, uh, and, and many others. And Yahoo Fin has, uh, has some dependencies on a, a few of those uh, packages. So if you have Anaconda already set up, it makes it easier to uh, get started with Yahoo Fin. Um, so I'll be assuming that uh, Anaconda is already uh, set up and in that case we would just need to do pip install yahoo fin and this will install the package. In my particular case I already have uh, yahoo fin installed so it's going to print out a message saying uh, requirement already satisfied but in your case if you if you don't have the package installed already it'll go through the uh, standard uh, pip installation process. In addition to running this line to install Yahoo Fin, we also need to install another package called request underscore HTML. This package does, does not come prepackaged with Anaconda, so we need to install it uh, separately. And in, in this case, again, I already have request underscore HTML uh, installed, so it's going to give me this message requirement already satisfied. But again, it'll go through the uh, full installation process for you if you don't have it already installed. All right, so now I'm going to open up Spider, which is the development environment I'll be using for this video. But if you want to use Jupyter Notebook or PyCharm or whatever other environment you're comfortable or familiar with using, that, uh, that should work totally fine for uh, Yahoo Fin. And now I'll import the Yahoo Fin package and specifically I'll import the stock info module first. And in addition to the stock info module, we can go ahead and also import the options module. So I'll say from Yahoo Fin, import options. But the main module we'll be dealing with for now is the stock info module, which allows you to pull back historical stock price data, real time or live stock price data, as well as financials and fundamentals data like cash flow statements, balance sheets, and so on. So let's start with using the stock info module to pull back or download uh, historical stock price data. We can do that using a function called uh, si.getData. In this case, we'll just import or input the name of the ticker that we want to get the data for. So if I say si.getData of nflx this will download the data for netflix and here all i need to do is just change whatever ticker um, that i want to get the data for so for example if i want to pull back microsoft i would input the ticker for microsoft or if i want to input uh, the ticker for amazon that will give me back the data for uh, amazon each time i download the data it pulls the data back into a pandas data frame and you get back the open, high, low, uh, close, adjusted close and volume information and it'll, it'll also pull back the ticker uh, just for reference for whatever um, for, for the uh, ticker that you're pulling back. Now if I want to filter the uh, data that I'm downloading by a date range, for example, I can do that using the start date and end date parameters. So if I say I want to get the data for Amazon, but only from 2015 onwards, for example, I would just input that January 1st, 2015 in the uh, start date. 
parameter just like this. And if I run that, it will download the data for Amazon, but only going back to uh, the beginning of 2015. And I can also filter by the end date as well. So if I said I want the end date to go until the beginning of 2017, then that will pull back the data from the beginning of our, our, our start date period, which is early 2015, all the way through the end of uh, 2016. All right, similarly to downloading the historical stock price data for a stock, we can also get back the current or real-time stock price data. So let's say we want to get the current price of Netflix. Well, we can use this function called get live price, where all we need to do is put in the name of the ticker that we want to get the data for. So in this case, we're getting the current price of Netflix. So we'll put in NFLX. And when we run that, we get back the current or real-time price of Netflix. So if I run this function again, and let's say I run it again, I'll get a slightly different price each time because the current price of Netflix is fluctuating. And let's say I want to get the price of another stock. All I need to do is change the ticker that I'm putting into get live price. So that would pull back Amazon or I can pull back Microsoft or whatever other stock I, I want to do. We just need to put in the ticker into uh, get live price and it'll retrieve the current real time trading price. All right, so that's it for this first video in the Yahoo Fin series. In this video, just as a recap, we talked about uh, how to install Yahoo Fin as well as how to download historical stock price data and how to get real time or, or current stock prices. In the second video in this series, we're gonna talk more about how to uh, download financials or fundamentals data like cash flow statements, balance sheets, and income statements. So please stay tuned.